Hey folks, so how are you doing? Today is going to be a, a somewhat different stream where we actually have a topic for a change. Ooh, imagine that. Not just random babbling. And uh, it's going to be fantasy designs. Because usually on most live streams, people ask me, what do you think of this fantasy thing? What do you think of that? Blah, blah, blah. All of that. Let's just do an entire stream like that and see how it goes. So, I figured we could just look up some things. Whenever you ask me about something, please be specific so I'm able to actually look it up and find it. And uh, ideally also... Um... No, never mind, never mind. I figured we could do the rating by two criteria. Um, coolness and practicality. Because that's going to be very separate from most of them. So, I'm probably going to have to go mainly by the Super Chats because if the stream, if the, if the chat just keeps machine gunning stuff up, you know, 10 designs a second, then I'm not going to be able to keep up with that. But I'll do what I can. So, thanks Darth Canadian 007. Hockey stick as a melee. Hello, fellow Canuck. Um... Depends really on what it's made of. Uh, they're, they're like, if it's sturdy enough material, I've seen a bunch of hockey sticks that are just kind of pretty flimsy hollow plastic, but if they are properly made, then it could be decent. Not too bad, really. All right, so um, let me start because. I just uh, I just looked something up. You know what I used for the for the thumbnail is something that I just found by typing fantasy sword. So I don't know what the hell it's from and whatnot, but uh, we can take a look just to get the ball rolling, so to speak. Um, right here, let's put that bitch in there and there so actually that makes me think i need to reposition this this window it needs to be here so you can actually still see that haha -ha, i'm smart uh, except that i've just hit the webcam but we're going to fix that there we go well, that should kind of do it uh, except let me put this there we go. There we go. That's nice. Okay. No, actually, let me leave that so it's not... There we go. Yeah, um, I think we can rate this by coolness. I mean, I, I'm just going to go by probably other people's taste because this ain't for me. I'm just going to flat out tell you aesthetically, eh, but... They definitely put some effort into making it cool. It's an attempt for it to look really damn cool. So I'm just going to be nice and give it a 7. Because it's definitely supposed to supposed to look really... Yeah, I know what. I'm still going to be biased. It's a 6. Like It's definitely high on the coolness scale. Uh, but, yeah. Practicality. Um... We got two palm swells. I'm assuming that's to fit two hands, although it does look a little bit short for two hands. I don't like that the pommel is curved upward, you know, messing with your hand. I definitely don't like the horns. It is way, way too huge, obviously. It's got all kinds of unnecessary stuff on it. It's multi-layered. It's got several weak points that are very likely to break under impact um i'm just gonna give this a a two that that might be too generous but i'm just gonna give it a two <laughs> what, what do you folks think thanks forgotten sneko that's that's an amazing name are there any medieval samples of the kind of bulky fists slash heavy gauntlets that exist in some games and fantasy stories the only thing i can think of is the roman Cestus which is a, well, it's 
basically sort of like a boxing glove except it's more of a weapon because depending on how it is exactly like in some cases it was just some some leather strap wrapped around the hands uh, it could it can be studded so yeah, there, there are several variations that would still count as a castus where you just have some something going over your knuckles that is either metal reinforced or studded or something like that and uh thank you james it's very generous appreciate it uh how about Kala bulg from ff10 all right thanks the pretzel i'll check it out uh let me just quickly reset the score here boom I'm doing it like a boomer here. I'm pretty sure there is a better way. I'm pretty sure it's like a scoreboard kind of deal. But I'm just going to do it manually the hard way because, you know. Oh my. What the. F Holy fucking bull shenanigans. Yeah, I, I realized I... I kind of funny censored one part but not the other part i didn't censor the, the f-bomb but whatever this is dream deal with it <laughs> what in the world this okay yeah this is this is even edgier this is the edgiest shit i've seen um and then you've got the, <laughs> then you've randomly got these these people down uh, whatever um, you know what? Let me let me just open that in a separate window so it's a little bit cleaner on display. Wait, I can't. Hey, yes, I can. There we go. And then I'm just gonna resize it because this is very wrong. Uh, yeah, this might be a little bit too much. A little bit too much, maybe. There we go. That's that's pretty, isn't it? I mean the layout, not the thing. <sighs> okay, what are we going to do with this? Um, I mean, you know what? I actually think this rates higher in terms of coolness than the other one because this is this is 100% magic edge lord. It doesn't get a, any more angsty, dark, wannabe necromancer stuff. You know, I think, I think just in sheer coolness, particularly also with the magic lightning or whatever i think we're gonna have to rate that pretty high i think that's like a that's like a nine right that's my opinion what, what do you folks think what, what's the what's it in terms of coolness it's definitely a paddle yes we, we haven't arrived at the practical <laughs> score yet which is not going to be great um but just coolness eight out of ten i see um what else we got four out of ten wow that's not very <laughs> that's not very nice uh eight six one for coolness i mean taste is subjective five two six seven eleven <laughs> hey you gotta take this a little bit more seriously this is this shit is serious business okay i think I think uh, if I if we take the average uh, six seven ten eight sixty nine yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay I, I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna correct it to eight I do think it gets a lot of style points but uh, in in this very edge lord way you know. And practicality, I, I don't think we have to discuss that much, do we? First off, um, wait, can you can you actually see my cursor? I doubt you can. Oh, you can. Cool. Excellent. So these spikes pointing at your hand. That's like an automatic five points deduction right there. And you got extra spikes here. At least they point away from the hand. And they kind of protect you against those spikes pointing down. I'll give it that the handle is straight at least and it's not like the handle itself is not like gnarly um yeah if you made this this thing would be uber heavy so that's that's a big problem 
I'm kind of thinking uh, two, two if I'm being nice. This might be a one. Uh, no, no, it's not a one. I've I've seen worse things. If you remember the the flail sword, that that's like a that's a zero point five or a zero. Um, practically four. Wow, you're being really nice to that thing. <laughs> two circular handle. That's that's pretty minor compared to the the other problems. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm going to stick to two. Yeah, you folks seem to mostly agree. Uh, let's see who's next. Thanks, Logan. What do you think of Shad's Im Imperious Sword? I think I've seen it in the uh, in a thumbnail, but I haven't taken a closer look at it. Okay. Uh, Why is the handle missing there? <laughs> uh, is there a better picture? There's this too. Um, yeah, I think I think I'll go with this. Actually, maybe I should go with this picture because that's, uh, yeah, that's in hand too. That might make sense. Okay. Let me reset the score here. Manually, like a total boomer. Okay. Um, what do we got here? I think I can zoom this in a little bit more. And then, let's put it here, that's good enough. That makes sense. Like this, yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Coolness. It glows, but it's blue, it's the wrong color, so... You know, glow plus points, color choice minus points. I will approach this with a bias, deal with it. Um, it's not that high on coolness, I'd say. It's kind of like... It's like this, let's take... Let's mash a rapier and an arming sword together and make it edgy-ish. Not really edgy, just, just make a fantasy. Um, I don't want to shit talk chat, by the way. It looks nice. It's just the wrong color in my book. Um, it's definitely not the coolest thing I've seen. It's like it's like a five. I don't know. Something like that. What, what does the chat think? Four on coolness. Five, yeah. Uh, four, six, seven, six, five. Yeah, I think most of you agree. Um... Five, seven, five, six. Yeah, okay, okay. We're on the same page. Five or six. Um, yep, I agree. I'm, I'm just going to leave. I mean, should I give it a six? You know what? Let's give it a 5.5. <laughs> That's crowded there, but whatever. Uh, practicality. Yeah, it's... It is basically, yeah, pretty much a rapier arming sword hybrid. Um, the spikes are, you know, those things here are kind of useful to trap enemy blades. I do like that. You can trap an enemy blade in between here, there, and there. So that's... That's good. I I do think the spikes look goofy. I think I would personally shape them differently, but we're we're done with the with the uh aesthetic part. So that's very useful. Hand guard is definitely useful. Wheel pommel, very standard, yes. Um it's one thing I don't like is how chunky it is here. 
because the thing is you've already added quite a bit of mass here so the fact that it has a full guard with all this extra stuff that adds quite a bit of weight it's a pretty large wheel pommel even if that's hollow that's quite a bit and then you've got all of this weight at the bottom here i think the balance point it looks like the balance might be here or or here like really really low which means that it would be better for thrusting than for cutting but for that it's too wide so i feel like this is kind of i don't think this is a fantastic cutter or thruster it's more a little bit in the middle and, and i think the balance point is what mainly gives me some concern i would I'm kind of leaning toward a seven. Like, there's nothing terribly wrong with it. I just, I just think that the balance looks like it would, it might be weird. Uh, it depends on how you shape it, you know, thickness-wise as well. But I don't know. Am I, am I being too hard on it? Let me know, chat. I could be. Uh, six. Uh, chat's fantasy the blade weighs as much as a piece of paper really well, if it's weightless then that's also kind of a weird shape 8.5 8.3 okay six six seven uh, six I don't know anything about the enchantments. I can only go by what it looks like. I haven't heard, I haven't watched that video, etc. So I don't know. Uh, nine, seven, one, nine, eight, six, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're kind of in the seven, eight range. Let, let me make that a 7.5. How, how about that? I think that's reasonable. Okay, it doesn't fit. Sorry, chat. <laughs> Seven it is. <laughs> okay, let me reset the score, and then we'll take a look at the next one. I'm afraid if I'm if I'm going at this pace, then I'm not even going to be able to keep up with this. Oh, holy falafel! Yeah, I, I'm I'm way behind on the super chats. Let me try to speed up. Okay, uh, Decidia Garland Sword. Okay, uh, thanks, Voidnell. Let me just make this quicker here. Otherwise, we'll be here all day, and I will never catch up. Uh, is it the, ooh? Is it this mega paddle? Yikes! Oof. Uh, okay, which version? There is this. There is there is the the plain aluminum foil version. Uh, what else we got here? Um, yeah, which one? Should we go with the fancier one? Because this one is butt ugly. That legit just looks like a paddle covered in aluminum foil. Uh, so I think I'm going with this, maybe? Isn't there a better picture? Come on. This gotta be a better picture, right? Because um, he's always standing in front of it. That's a completely different style. Yeah, which one do I even pick here? This, oh, this is butt ugly. Holy crap. That's, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I don't even know which one to pick. Uh, holy crap, that's, that's really ugly. Um, what do we do with it? Wait, what? Oh, I see. It's a Lego thing. Oh, my. All right. I'm going to have a field day with this thing. That's horrendous. That's also horrendous. Image quality? Wait a second. That can't be. Come on now. You can do better. Wait, why, why does it get blurry? It's not. This one's not blurry at all. Okay, give me a second here. I will never catch up at this bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's let's take this. Uh -huh, resize. Make it pretty. <laughs> um, here, and let's move it down. Okay, so coolness. It looks like absolute ass, so I'm going to have to give it a, a one. Like straight up. This, this thing is hideous. 
Okay, and practicality, you know what, that's a one too. That this this is this is all kinds of impossible. Like it's way too large, it's Lego kinda crap, it's just it fits together who knows how, friction, uh hooks and buttons, I don't know. Then it's got a chain, is it's a disaster. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a it's a disaster in every way. <laughs> this thing is terrible. Okay, move on to the next one. Thanks, Jacob. Uh, Magnus' sword from Kid Icarus Uprising. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Holy crap. You're really tormenting me today, aren't you? <laughs> You're giving me all the the craziest shit one can think of. Okay. Um, let's try this. First off, resize. You're really, really tormenting me here. All right, fine. Let's do this. We can shove in there, and then we can resize it a little bit more. There we go. That's uh, nice. Okay. All right. Do I even have to reset that? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Um, hmm. Coolness. It's big. Um, it's big. Uh, it looks. It looks like some some metal sheets cobbled together. I I don't know what to tell you. Um, chat, help me out here. Is it? Yeah, too. I'm. I'm. A, that's what I was thinking too. It's not as hideous as the other thing. It's just kind of meh. I'm kind of leaning toward a three. Like this is not super cool in any way. It's just kind of. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of generic. You know, just rivet a bunch of metal together. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to be nice and give it a three because at least it's it's got some cool shapes, you know, like, like you know, this here looks kind of neat and you know, it's got some got some nice lines and all. I'll, I'll give it that. So I'm, I'm just going to give it a three. Practicality. Yeah, um, it's humongous, like I said. Um, Even if you made this out of super light material, it's so large that it would just be a pain in the ass to use. Plus, at this humongous size, it doesn't have a very long handle, really. And then it's got this weird asymmetrical handle that looks like it could get... Actually, no, never mind. I'll take that back. It seems like it, it could act as a bit of a guard coming up like that. Um, depending on which direction, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. The edges, the edges here, so you would hold it with this side forward. So yeah, that that's not actually in the way, and it is a good handle. So if it was some kind of super light material, then maybe it could get away with like a three or four. What do you think, folks? If we give it the benefit of the doubt and assume that it's not crazy heavy, you know, some kind of super material, um, I don't know. We probably shouldn't even do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking three. A lot of the chat says three, too. Um, three, unless we get an overwhelming number of ones and twos. Yeah, 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 three. Okay. Uh, thanks to Spooky for me. One Urukai shield per hand, yes or no? Um, let me just quickly look up Urukai shield. Yeah, it's not one word, I know, but it's okay. As far as dual wielding shields is concerned, it's okay. Like, at least you can attack with it. Actually, that is pretty decent. I 
not gonna lie, that is actually not bad. Um, yeah, yeah, I would, I would say yes. Okay. Next. Uh, oh my goodness, I need to speed up way more. I'm so far behind. Um, thanks, Forgotten Sneko. Give the Fire Tower from Gunfire Reborn a rating. That should be fun. Uh oh. Fire Tower? <laughs> I I can't get any pictures specifically. Um No, sorry, I, I can't really spend wait no. Wait, maybe if I... Ah, there we go. Uh, okay, oh, what? Wait, what even is that? Is that a gun? Is that a mace? What is it? How do you use it? Uh, slashes slowly in a wide arc. Okay, why? What? Um, okay, what do I even do with that? <laughs> what do I even do with this? Um, okay, coolness. I <sighs> Since I couldn't even identify it, I don't know. It, it could be like some magical torch or something. Um, maybe even the... Torture in a, in a British sense, you know, it's a flashlight, it's a torch, mate. Uh, I mean, as far as, I, this could be a butt plug for all I know. This is not even identifiable as a sword. So I, I think I'm going to, I'm going to go kind of low with that. It's like, I like the color and the pattern and stuff, but uh, I don't know. Maybe like a four, I don't know. Chat, what do you think? Four, yeah, <laughs> three, four. Okay, yeah, I'm not the only one. Five, eight, okay. Yeah, I, I could change my, my mind on this. If you ask me on another day, I might rate it higher, but right now, um, practicality, the problem with this thing is it looks like you can't grip it. Like it looks like you legit can't grip it, but it's also for some kind of cartoon creatures. So I feel like I can't even rate that. If if you made this exact thing the way it is in real life without adjustment, it would be a one. In fact, it would be kind of almost a zero. Yeah. I I gotta I gotta get move on to the next one. Um, let's see. Thanks, ultraviolet. Let's see, Final Fantasy XIV. I don't even know how you pronounce this thing. Uh, what? Okay. I don't know what the hell this is, but... <laughs> uh, okay, I should probably actually... Yeah, there we go. Um, not, we don't need that necessarily. What? What in the f flaming fuck nugget is this? Excuse me right now? Why must you torment me like this? <sighs> Double yikes. Okay. Um, what can I even do with that? I, I will give you, it does look cool. I, I will freely admit that coolness, it's got so much going on. And I do like the glowing glyphs or whatever that is. Um, yeah, I mean, the individual shapes are pretty cool. 
I will say that's kind of, yeah, that's actually pretty high. I would, for coolness, just sheer coolness, I would have to give it like a eight at least, maybe even a nine. I think that's fair. What is, what, what do you think in the chat there? Nine, seven, nine, eight, yeah, yeah, eight. Yeah, I think we're also about on the same page here. Uh, practicality, there's it, just too much going on. The thing is, I like the blade. The blade actually looks perfectly functional as it is. There's just too much crap going on. Like, if, if you look at this here, like, where do you even hold it? I mean, you have multiple options. Yes, that's nice. There's a lot of hand protection, which is nice. But it looks like a ch like a chandelier. It, it legit looks like a weaponized chandelier or some other art object. It does not look like a trippy weapon. I will give it, though, again, that it's got a lot of protection. The balance would be shit, <laughs> straight up. Like, the point of balance, I think, would be like here, right, where, where his hand is. So this is not good for cutting. This is maybe okay for thrusting, but not good for cutting. So I want to say like a four, maybe five. Like it's not horrendous, but it definitely ain't fantastic. Let's see here. Five, five, four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody gave it a zero. If you use like a spear, six, yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah, sort of. Uh, 4.5, five, six. Four, four, five. Okay, yeah. I think we we generally seem to agree. I think I can I can give it a little bit more, maybe. Like, yeah, with with spear. No, no. I I, I want to stick to four. Okay, next one. Uh, thanks, Shermanator analysis. Trident of demise from Hy Hyrule Warriors. Do you think a trident would be more useful for Ganon since he's much larger and has to hit smaller targets? Try it. Yeah, yeah, you can argue that, but I would say be, if you're dealing with smaller, harder to hit targets, you're probably better off with a slashing weapon because you you just cover so much more. Like you you swing it in an arc, you cover way more than just a thrust, because a thrust is just linear. It's just one point. I mean, three points if you <laughs> if you're dealing with a trident. But anyway. Um... Hyrule Warriors, not Warrior, ah, whatever, it's it's fine. Um, this, I feel like the stream will be my demise. My sanity at the end will just be a shadow of what it once was. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I mean, maybe some people don't get that I'm exaggerating. Some people are like, wow, he gets really triggered. No, no it's, it's for entertainment. If you don't get that, then you get problems. Anyway, so... Mm, spike, 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 spike. The good news is... No, wait, wait. First, first coolness. I think a lot of people would find it cool to... This jagged stuff, I personally can't stand it, even aesthetically, but I think a lot of people like it. What I can get into, or behind, or whatever is, whatever this is, kind of magic effect gem sort of deal, I think. Um, you know, any kind of inscriptions, runes, glyphs, etc. is always good. Um, the color scheme is nice. It's nice and flamey. Um, but for me, the coolness isn't that high, simply because it's just too much jaggies going on. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling five. What do you think? Am I being too harsh? Or am I being too nice? Are people saying three, four, six, two, three, four? Okay, I've, I might have been too nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it a four then. I think we can kind of agree on four. 
four and practicality. My problem is this gets stuck hardcore. If you if you stab someone or something with this, those jagged things are gonna get stuck on bone or armor, cloth, etc. etc. They would they would just this will just lodge itself really bad. Like with superhuman strength, you could, I guess, rip it out and do a lot of damage. But in, in real life, that's not going to happen. Also, it's super clunky. It's got way too much extra stuff that adds a ton of weight. So practicality on this is pretty garbage. It's like... If I'm being nice, I give it a three. I'm kind of leaning toward a two, but I might just give it a three. Uh, what do you folks think? Four, three, three, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, yeah, we agree. Definitely not a four. Could be a two. It could be a two. Use it as an axe. Uh, same problem. It, it would also get stuck too easily and just be stopped. You know, like, because this is not going to cut for shit, you know? So, yeah. Okay, next one. Uh, thanks, Matthew. Uh, please write Asta Swords from Black Clover. Okay. That's legit a paddle. <laughs> That's like... They didn't even they didn't even try to hide the fact that it's literally a repurposed paddle. Okay. Like th this I mean, tell me you can't row a boat with this thing. Or in fact it could be a rudder. Because it looks like you can kind of steer with it. I don't know. Like tell me this is not legit useful for rowing boats. Wait, is that is that a very totally different design? I don't know which one. Um, yeah, no idea. Okay, um, I'm just going to wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is, that is it. Yeah, let's just decide on one. I mean, this does the cosplay plastic thing. I'm just gonna, oh right, he has two, okay. Uh, do we wanna decide on one or do we wanna rate both? I don't know. I'm just gonna go by this picture. Right here. Okay. Um, <laughs> resize quite a bit. There, all right, so. Coolness. It looks like shit, in my opinion. It's absolutely hideous. Um, that's like I'm being nice with it, too. I could give it a one, but I've seen way worse. So, yeah, that's a two. Practicality. The good news is you can actually hold on to it. It, it won't bite you. It's, it doesn't have a bunch of super self-defeating nonsense. So I'm talking about the big one, by the way. So, like, if you, if you either made it thin enough or made it out of a lighter material that is just as tough and hard as steel, then you would get away with it. This is actually not as bad. I would, I'm, I'm just going to give it a six because you can work with it. Like, you would have to do it right. You would have to modify it. But it's... It's actually okay. I might even be persuaded to give it a seven. Because again, you can work with it. It's it's got it's got something. And and it does not look excessively thick. The other one that he's got, I think that that's actually quite a bit higher. I think the other one is more like a an eight. Like the, the short one, because it's got a pretty useful it's got a pretty useful guard and all. Uh, I'm going to have to give it a little bit more space here whenever I want to do stuff like that. Okay, uh, yeah, here. So, six for the big one, eight for the small one. 
Okay, let me reset here. Mm. There. Next one. Uh, where even are we? Way behind, that's where I am. Thanks, God. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul bad guy, fire seal, we can do that. That's not too terrible, is it? I mean, it is literally a paddle, but... Um, <laughs> I've seen worse. Uh, where's a good picture? Oh, it does some transformation things. I No, wait, does it? It's been a while since I've seen it in action, so I don't really remember too well how it works. Um, you know what? Screw this helmet. <laughs> There's something about it that oh, presses down on one specific spot on my head. I don't know why. Oof. <laughs> like, it, it concentrates all the weight on one spot. I, I'm not sure why that is, but uh, I'm just going to... Just gonna leave it on because it's nice and warm. Um, <laughs> looks kind of dorky, but whatever. Um, hmm. What do I even do with that? <laughs> okay. Um, man, it just really no good picture. They all look kind of terrible. Uh, oh, no, never mind. Um, do not get distracted by boobies. That's, that doesn't matter right now. Um, okay, there we go. We can work with that. All right. And yes, I agree. It is a pointless weapon. It legit has no point. Um, okay. What do we do with this? coolness I think it looks terrible like not not just a toy version it just looks obviously like a toy of course but the the best version I can imagine of this is still ugly so it's like yeah you know what I'm just gonna leave it at two and then practic practicality is I don't like that it has this gigantic square block here that looks really really unfortunate so again if you if you tried really hard to make this work you would you would most be hindered by this giant metal block so it's like i don't know not very good mm. coolness some people disagree but uh i think overall we're about on the same page Originality, yeah, you can you can give it some. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, spider armor, okay. And uh, wait, thank you, Shermanator analysis. Let's see here, spider armor. I can't really rate that, or can I? Well, I, I can rate coolness. Th that I can. Um, just go with this. Wait. Wait, is it blue or black? I can't really tell. Uh, I think it's blue, dark blue. Because, like, for me... That would matter. Like if it's if it's if it's blue, it gets a lower score than if it's black. You know, it's just how I roll. Blue is not my favorite color, um, but I like the design. It is pretty damn cool. I I think I'm gonna give it at least an eight. This I could be persuaded to do a nine. If you think, but uh, at least an eight, I think that's I think that's fair. 
you, uh, yeah, I, I agree that blue and yellow do work well together. I just like, I don't like yellow at all, actually, and I'm not the biggest fan of blue. Even if it's black and yellow, then you've got a wasp, you know, you know it's like <laughs> yellow jacket. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with a tin. Like, it's not personally, I would prefer a different color scheme, but yeah, you know what? I would agree with that. Black and gold, 9 out of 10. Blue and yellow, 6 out of 10. I agree with Jennifer there, 100%. Okay. Wait, uh, yeah, practicality. I just, I'm just not going to rate it. Because this is, it's high-tech shenanigans. You know, it's like, whatever. <laughs> it's great, I guess. <laughs> um, thanks, Nayat. And thanks, Edward. Uh, okay. Oof. Uh, okay, you said either this or Gunblade. Hmm. Wait. Is there one? Okay, fine. Uh, I guess we I guess we do this then. Wait, it's also a character. Okay. I think you probably mean this. I might be wrong. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Not a fan. Not a fan of the aesthetics. Yeah, I was thinking too. Gunblade is Final Fantasy. That's why I'm. I was confused that he said. Kalina Ann or the Gunblade from DMC. So, I don't know. That's not quite clear. Whereas a stock, yeah, it doesn't have one. I think you I think you just shoulder it like a bazooka. It does look like the super scope. So, looks pretty ugly to me. It's just kind of it's kind of like a shoulder-mounted dildo, you know? A shoulder-mounted metal dildo. It's not very appealing to me. Uh, practicality, I'm just going to leave the question mark because I have no idea. <laughs> it looks a bit wild, but hey, there are sort of similar guns in real life, so... Mm. Okay, now what, any interpretations of sharp blades from the Stormlight Archive? Thanks, Forrest. Uh, the thing is, the sharp blades I've seen drawn are all pretty crazy stuff. Yeah. The problem is it's always multiple, so yeah. I mean, these are all the same flavor, basically. They're all over the top crazy. So I don't like this design at all, I have to say. I love shard blades, but these designs make me make me slightly nauseated. <laughs> you know, they make me a little bit want to scratch my eyeballs a little bit, you know? Make me want to put some eye drops in there. So, uh, coolness, as far as I'm concerned, I'll leave it at the two right there. Eww. And practicality, this is straight up a one. Like, as they are, again, shard blades work completely differently, but if you made these specific abominations here out of steel, it, Completely unusable. Complete nightmare. Yeah. Let's leave it at that. I'm really struggling to catch up here. Uh, thanks, Garrus. Janai's armor and Sunforge blade from Dragon Prince. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah. Wait. Should, should we go with this? That's probably better. Yep. There we go. Um, mm, come on. Why oh, you gotta have such a large headpiece there? <laughs> now we gotta kind of reposition here. There we are. Okay. So. Coolness. Pretty good. Pretty high. I like it. Um, it's definitely fancy. I like the color scheme. Um, I want to say... 7. Yeah, I want to say a 7. Um, let me... Uh, for now, seven, but I'll, I'll look at the chat, see if you've got anything that, or if your votes convince me to go higher. Let's see here, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, eight, six point five, seven, four, six to eight. Okay, yeah, seven to eight. Yeah, so we're, we're about right. Let's, let's give it a 7.5. I think it's pretty reasonable. Now, practicality the headpiece costs points quite a bit this is not very practical uh, in history people have worn stuff like that if you think of some samurai helmets they are they had stuff like that um, i would rate them also lower <laughs> practicality wise just because it existed doesn't mean it's the most practical thing ever um, i guess in this case it's no no it's not really it's not really horn armor. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely lowering the points. The arms are almost entirely exposed. She's got no gauntlets. The legs are exposed. There's like the sternum is covered, but nothing else. Like it's very partial armor. The good thing is it wouldn't really hinder you much. So you could wear this. Like it's not it's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna be completely self-defeating, but it's not fantastic armor. So I'm thinking like a four, maybe? I mean, then again, practicality and, and protectiveness are different scores. Like, protectiveness of a four, practicality is actually more like a seven, maybe? Because, yeah, you can absolutely wear this. Well, then again, the headpiece is costing some points. How about a six? Can we, let's see, can we agree on the six? Chat says five. I see a lot of fives. Three, four, five. Okay, yeah, then let's do five then. I can agree with that. I will not debate that. Five. Okay. Next. Uh, thanks to Gem Cal X. Uh, Ash Carbide Switch Axe. Let's see here. I can only do one per person, by the way, because I'm, I'm struggling so much to keep up. There's so many. Okay, so we got... It's either a halberd-looking thing or it's a... What is it exactly? Um, damn, this is such a missed opportunity. D do you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure you can figure out what I mean. What's what's the missed opportunity that I'm talking about here, Chad? Can you figure it out? What bothers me here about the shape? There's one simple change I would make to make it way more sensical. Can you guess what it is? There you go, Julian. Uh, Julianne? Why is there no spike at the end? You Exactly. That, that's my problem. This is such a missed opportunity. You could easily fit a spike there. Like, this could easily terminate in a point, and then this would actually make sense, because then you have a war pick instead. That's such a majorly wasted opportunity. I mean, to be fair, you already have a pointed end, so how much that helps... But my problem is it looks like it broke off. Anyway, so. Um, coolness. It's pretty ugly, in my opinion. 
Um, it's a cool concept, though. I do like that. I will give them that. It is kind of a cool concept. It's one of those things that is kind of ugly, but I think I could appreciate it if I kept looking at it. So I don't know. It's like a... I could give it anything from four to six. I, I really can Yeah. Let's see what the chat thinks. Six. I see a lot of sixes. So I, yeah, I, I think I can agree with that. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do six here. And practicality. The, the problem here, of course, is because you have something that folds and locks, you have to have a locking mechanism which will reduce its durability. So that's going to be a problem. And it looks pretty clunky overall. So I want to say like a four. Like it's not terrible. You could potentially make it work, but it's got some issues. Uh, what do we have here? Four, seven, six, five, four, six, five, seven, four, six, three, five, five. Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing enough fives that I'm willing to bump it up. Okay. Ooh, next one. Oh, thanks, Ekthalian Alpha, mm, Sayaka Saber. Okay. Uh, this. Okay. All right. Finally, something that could actually be used. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Something that could actually be used. I'll be damned. Um, it's got a... It's got a trigger. Does it, does it shoot or something? Uh, hmm. Can somebody tell me real quick? Does, does it have some kind of... Does the trigger serve a purpose? Like, does it shoot? I, I just don't know. Is it even a trigger? Actually, it might not be. It's connected to the knuckle guard, isn't it? I think, at least in this model, I think it is. In some pictures, it looks like a trigger. Um, no, not here. Uh... Ah, uh, no, never mind, it's not. Pretty sure it's not. All right, ballistic knife. Hmm. Anyway, okay, so, wait, uh, let me... Wait, which picture did, did I want to use? Oh, yeah, right, the uh, the 3D model. Holy shit, what happened to the video? <laughs> I just noticed the lighting has changed drastically. Let me adjust that real quick because this looks like garbage right now. Um, <laughs> yikes, that looks real bad. Excuse me for a moment, folks. Let me just fix that. This is bullshit. Um, still? Okay, it's, it's just Glare City right now. Um, I'm afraid I can't do anything about that. At the moment, we're just going to have to live with it. Also, now that I'm not wearing the helmet anymore, I might as well put on my glasses. I don't absolutely need them, but they help. They make it a little bit easier to see. Okay, so um, let me open that. Oh, yeah, I already have it open. Haha, -ha. I'm smooth. So coolness. Um, I like it. It's not the coolest thing ever, but it is pretty well designed. Uh, I would say it's like a seven. Like it's not amazingly crazy. Like 
it's it looks good in a practical sort of way, but it's not the coolest thing ever. Um, yeah, six, seven, I see here. Uh, eight, nine, okay, yeah, this is gonna be very personal. Some people rate it, holy shit, look at this glare. <laughs> oh, ah, I can fix it after all. Um, Give me a second here. Where is, I've got nothing to extend my reach right now. Uh, legit nothing? Oh, come on. I don't even have a sword nearby. What, what kind of nonsense is this? There? Uh-oh, uh, open it up here. That's not good. <laughs> oh no, everything is falling apart. That's still better though, because there's no more Glare City. I think we can live with that, right? My mug is not the important thing right now. Um, just, just a little bit here. There. Okay. Good enough. Practicality. This is where it's going to rack up points. Um, that's like a that's like a nine. I think. There isn't too much wrong with it. I, I will say. The grip is a little bit malformed, you know, like it's too irregular. That That's my one problem with it. In fact, that is going to cost at some points because it looks like it looks like it's square or, you know, very angular. I mean, and it looks like it's it's irregular and everything that. Yeah. OK, that, that is going to cost it a point. I'll make that an eight, but it's pretty good overall. Um, Let's see. Thanks, James. Thanks again, Forgotten Sneko. Uh, fire Tower review was better than I had ever hoped. It's basically a mace covered in fire. Okay, there you go. So I got it right despite having absolutely no idea. <laughs> Thanks, Julianne. Uh, Christarium Greatsword from FF14. Let's do it. Uh, it's, I need to stop always opening a new tab it's not necessary uh, this can we can we get a better picture because that's pixelated um that's even worse uh, is that a is that a guy or a gal uh, okay, yeah, the, I see the boob window. Anyway, who cares? Um, <laughs> where? Come on, there's got to be better pictures. This can't be all. This tiny, tiny ass picture it doesn't even load. Uh, that's bad. Okay, I'm just going to work with what I have here. Uh, okay, it's a great sword. Uh, <laughs> Boobality, indeed. Uh, like Size-wise, this is okay for a great sword. This, this is kind of borderline ceremonial, but I think... She's also in the background. It's a bit hard to see, say with this picture here, but uh, yeah, if you if you made it make it thin enough. Wait, 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 wait. Coolness first. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Um, I don't like the shape of the the guard here. It's it's like two saggy crucifixes. <laughs> it looks like you know. If you made a crucifix out of wax and it melts slightly in the sun and it, you know, um, not my favorite. I do like the grip. Well, on this one, on that one, it looks terribly round. The blade is okay. It's all right. It's definitely not my favorite personally, but it's okay. It's kind of like a a five. Am I being too harsh? Let's see. 
Uh, okay, people are very divided here. I see anything from three to eight. Wow. <laughs> Four or five, seven, five, five. Okay, yeah. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Four, six. I think five is good. Um, then practicality. It is. It looks a little bit clunky. Like this is very, but if you made it thin enough, you can work with it. I would say with modification, it's like a 6.5. That's kind of where I stand. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of sixes here. All right. The crosscut just isn't feeling it tonight. Yeah, crosscut needs some Viagra. Okay. Actual Soul Calibur. Thanks, James. Soul Calibur from Soul Calibur. The problem is, how do I find that without just, you know, the title? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that, that was easy enough. That That is Soul Calibur, right? As is this. There are different versions, that's the problem. I mean, it's basically similar flavor. Kind of, um, yeah. I think we can work with that. Okay, coolness. Um, I think the worst one is this. Well, no, no, that. I'm torn between this and that. They they both look like garbage. This one looks just like. A bunch of crystals floating around. Okay, you know what? I will give it credit for ingenuity, I guess. Like, it's a different design. So for creativity, it gets points. Uh, this is just ugly to me. It's, it's, just, it's just a lump of a blade and... Ugh. No. This is hideous. That looks kind of silly, but... At least it's creative. This is, this looks like a generic wall hanger. That looks, kinda cool. I, I'm not digging any of these really. Um, it's like, it, it kinda goes from too simple but still edgelord to just we were just going for plain creativity and then there is i don't know some 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 drunk dragons whip this up I, um three i don't like it <laughs> it's not for me but i'm curious to see what what do you folks think? We got two, three. Uh, two. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and I think practicality, I can easily give it, very easily give it a, a whopping one. And that's the that's like the average. Because basically this is clearly a zero. That that doesn't even you know it doesn't work. This is like a zero point five. This is one point five. Actually this is the worst. I I take it back. This is this is by far the worst. This is this is straight up a zero. This is what, like, 100%. The best place you could grip this, in fact, the only place you could grip this is the blade. That's it. You can't grip the handle. It's, it's got spikes in all directions. This, this, is, this is like a hard zero. So zero, 1.5, 0 0.5, 1. So we basically arrive at a, at a 1 on average, right? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, I 
Thanks, Anton, even though message is retracted. Uh, oh, man. There's so many. Okay. Thanks, Void No. Half Orc Battle Armor. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Wait, what? The, the R looked like that's a subreddit, but yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. Mm. Uh, there's no picture, though. There's no picture at all. Uh, oh, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Uh, <laughs> I just spammed everything in there not realizing how it's supposed to be. Uh, wait. Mm, there. Something went wrong. Okay, uh, this doesn't work. Let me try it differently then. Uh, hmm. That's probably not going to work. In fact, no, definitely not. Uh, oh, wait. Character drawing. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. There we got it. Uh, what? Uh, can't, should I even ask? D do I want to know why there's a chastity device included in this armor? It's probably the P box, but yikes, <laughs> do, do not want, all kinds of do not want. Okay, um, way too big, uh, but, 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 it's, it's actually rare to see an orc in full armor, so that's, I appreciate that, that's, that's pretty cool. So, coolness. Uh, the the dick box is definitely costing at some points in my opinion, but I guess it increases practicality. So that's like a it's like a seven because orc in full plate armor is pretty rare. Wait, wait, it said female. Now I'm even more confused. Wait. Wait, wait it's, excuse me, what? <laughs> th th this looks like this is not designed for female parts. I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to ignore that. This is this is not what I want to think about. <laughs> okay, practicality. Um so you can open it up to relieve yourself or have sex in armor, I guess. Um, that's chafy, though. Uh, again, the pauldron on the one side is way too huge. That definitely costs points. If not for that, it would be pretty good. It's got a lot of um, articulation at the waist, which is good. Yeah. A lot of things are really good about it. It, it just... It loses a few points, so it's like it's like a seven, I would think. <laughs> a service port, yeah. Don't lose the key, yeah. <laughs> Indeed, okay. The painkiller from painkiller. Watch the vid, okay. Uh, thanks, Edward. Uh, painkiller weapon. Watch the video. What would we do? This. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Uh, oh, great. Other. Oh, wait. Was the shotgun? What, was it named Painkiller? I think so. 
I played Painkiller, but it's been years, many years, in fact. So I can't remember what everything was called. Wait, was it? Uh... Which one was it? Or is this the Painkiller? Ah, okay, this is right. Yeah, yeah, I know. I remember the rotating thing. Um, wait, it's got to be a better picture, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, it's easy enough. I, I can work with that. So let's... Um, zoom in a little bit here. Boom. And I think... Honestly, cool is nine. No, wait. Should, should I actually give it a ten? I, th I think I'll do a nine. Because this thing is is absolutely metal like the the blades fold out and they start rotating and shredding everything yeah this thing is metal as fuck so yes i'm okay with that practicality uh, that's legit like a a one i don't think you could build this in a way that actually works <laughs> i really don't think so okay next one the sword of death thanks snatter Okay. Uh, am I not getting anything? Oh, come on. There's got to be some picture. No? Nothing? Uh, wow. There's legit no picture. Huh? There's the entry, but there's not a single picture. Okay, before I spend too much time on that, thanks for the super chat, but sorry, I, I can't cover that. It takes too long. Uh, thanks again, Anton Claymore from the Anime Claymore. Okay. Oh, man, this is going to be difficult to find. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we get a full picture? That's that's fan art. I'm not sure how close it is to the original. I think that's actually reasonably close, right? Uh, looking at it... I think that's actually pretty close. I think we can go with that. Because it's a higher quality picture. Or at least one where you can see the entire... Almost the entire sword. Wait. Mm, that looks quite a bit different. Uh, yeah, I, I just got to decide on one. I'm just going to go with this here. Okay. Um, let me open that. Yikes, that's... <laughs> Holy shit, that is huge. Okay. Uh, this, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Um, coolness. It's got a nice looking guard, but it's not particularly amazing. Like, it's not a particularly badass looking sword. It's just kind of like... It's not ugly. So I'm not, I'm not going to give it less than five because it's... Yeah. Okay, people are actually thinking... Quite a bit more. Uh, okay, I will let you persuade me then. If you think it deserves more, then I will give it... I'll give it a six. Like, there are different kinds of cool, right? There's the edgy cool, there's the um, imposing cool, there's the <laughs> practical cool. <laughs> Tactical. Uh. Okay. Actually, most of you are saying either seven or eight. Fair enough. I, I don't have any problem with it. I do think it looks good, so we might as well do that. Uh, practicality. I think that gets like at least an eight. 
because I don't actually see anything wrong with it. Look, it's large, but so what? I think that actually deserves a... Should we finally do a 10? I haven't done a, I haven't given a single 10 yet. I might do it. What do you think, chat? Um, eight, nine, okay. I, I don't think we can, we can really do a 10. I, I'm not seeing enough 10s in the chat. So, shit balance, no pommel. You don't need the pommel for counterbalance. You can do that with a, with a blade shape. If you, um, if you tweak the, the thickness and you give it a distal taper, you do not need a pommel for a counterbalance. Absolutely not. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah, okay. I, I think the nine is good. All right. Finally. <laughs> Finally something that's, that's actually practical. Don't ask me what kind of accent that is. It's practical. Whatever. Um, oh, no, please, no. <laughs> Thank you, Quattro Concept, but um, this is this is one of those famous wall junk wall hangers that have been around since the 80s, I think. <sighs> That's why I have a personal hate of this thing, but it's not its fault. You know, to be fair, it's not the sword's fault that <laughs> there, there's so much wall hanger junk that imitates it. Um, yeah. Should I, should I just go with... Yeah. Right, there's the original. Because, like I just said, there's it's not the, the sword's fault that I sur wait. I was gonna say that I, it's not the sword's fault that I associate it with cheap junk wall hangers, but at the same time, it's not even fantasy. I, I can't even rate this, not for this video. Sorry, <laughs> nothing against you. Again, I, I appreciate the super chat, but I, I gotta get on you, get on with it here. There are just too many, and it's not actually a fantasy sword, so I'm not gonna rate it. Uh, Shermanator analysis. I apologize. I meant the MK1 spider armor. From the PS4 game, uh, the silver and black one that uses actual armor. Okay, I thought I looked that up. Didn't I? Did I, did I mess it up? I thought that's what I looked up. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I guess I didn't do it right. Um, yeah, that does have actual armor. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Hmm. Huh. What do we do with that? Which picture should I use? Uh, oh yeah, that'll do. Multiple angles. Thanks. That'll that'll do quite nicely. Okay. So I need to remember to actually reset it after I've I've read it something. So. Um, coolness. Pretty high. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that, like, like all the, all the squares, you know, like, I, I get it. It's a reference to the, the, the spider web pattern, but it doesn't look like it because it's just, it's just straight, you know. It's just vertical and horizontal lines. That's not what a spider web looks like. And I don't like the look of it. He looks like a walking grenade. You know, he looks like a frag grenade. That's that's the one thing I don't like. Otherwise, it looks pretty damn cool. It's, you know, it's a nice shape. It's, it's shiny. It's, you know, it's lots of black and gray. It's pretty good contrast. It looks badass. Yeah, I do like it. But uh, it's just the squares that pull it down a little bit. So it's like a, I think it's like an eight at least. I could be persuaded toward, no, never mind. Okay, most people, yeah. Eight, 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 eight yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we can definitely agree on that. 
Then practicality depends on you know it's probably some high tech material blah blah blah. My problem, of course, is that it's completely open here, and there that's a target. <laughs> like if if you want armor, wouldn't you want your crotch to be protected? I would. It's not easy to do that, but I would like that personally. And you know you can be stabbed in the sides and and all that. So. I don't quite see the point of, of the armor when there's so much left uncovered. You know, the legs are completely uncovered. You know, good old Vlad Tepes could do his thing, you know. So it's like a... If we just go by wearability, then it's very high. Like if I was just too rated going by how wearable it is, then it's probably a nine. If I want to take the protectiveness into account, then it's six, seven, let's, let's, let's say seven. How's that? Seven or eight? What do you think? Three? I think that's too low. Four, nine, six, nine, six. It's armored fabric. Yes, but the problem is it's so skin tight that even if it's bulletproof or whatever, like the bullet would push so deep into your flesh, even if it doesn't penetrate it, the, the material, you would get serious bruises um, or even internal bleeding. So, yeah, I don't know. Most people actually say six, five or six. Um... Yeah, something like that. I can't quite decide, so I kind of want to say like a 6.5. Anyway, let's reset that and go to the next one, which is Red Queen Gunblade from DMC Raid. Right, you just, you call it a gun blade, not the gun blade. That makes sense. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, right. I remember seeing this, of course. I mean, who hasn't seen this one, right? Um, should we know it? That's uh, fan art. Do we have an official one? I mean, that, that looks like very accurate fan art to me. So I think we can probably go with that. Okay. Coolness. The cool. Uh, I like it. It's an unusual design. I like that the um, the guard looks looks a little bit like. Um, Motorcycle hardware. Is it just me? Is it intentional? I'm, I'm not sure. But it looks a little bit, you know. Or, you know, a brake lever or something, kind of. Anyway. I think it looks pretty cool, overall. I like the dark red. Um, you know, it's kind of nice decorations there in this panel. Um, Overall, it's got some some pretty good. Like it's it's got a mix of of curved and angular shapes. Aesthetically, the outline is is pretty good. I think it looks pretty cool. It's like a let's say it's, it's an eight. Arguably more, but uh, big and bulky. That it is, but that doesn't matter for coolness. So I think I think that's all right. Clean looking. Yeah, you can say that. I see some eights and nines and seven. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it works. Um, the brake is the guard. The handle is revved up to heat up the bay. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Now, practicality, not so good. Definitely not so good. It's super large. It's clunky. It's got a round handle. It has, like... 
this I don't even know if this would function as a guard if, if this is actually flexible to operate it then it wouldn't even work as a guard I mean it kind of would it would stop a blade but it would also crush your hands like your fingers I mean between the grip and the the opponent's blade or between the grip and this thing rather um yeah it's got a bunch of extra stuff going on that you don't need you know this and this, this entire panel here looks like it's superimposed on top so there's like a double layer so it's thick as hell so eh. <laughs> like if you if you were to modify it you could make it okay but as it is not so much as it is it's like maybe a four if not less if you were to modify it more, like a modified version of this could potentially be a six. But yeah, not not very good. Okay, next one. Thanks, Adam. I hate most fantasy arms and armor in games, even though I like games, but uh, King Kalen's arms from Dragon Age Origins is one I definitely like, okay. Uh, uh, is there a typo in there? Hmm. There's probably a typo in there. Ah, there we are. Yes. Kalen. Uh, and you meant the armor, right? Yes. Maybe? Okay, is, is this, um, is this what, what it's called? No. Well, oh, come on, bigger picture. Come on, why? We need big picture. Uh, okay. Get out of here with these little stamp-sized pictures. Okay, fine. We're just gonna zoom and accept some blurriness. Can't be helped. Okay, coolness. Pretty high. Pretty good. Including the sword, I would say. Stylish, yeah. I like it. I think that's like a hmm. It's like a s seven. Yeah. I think we can do a seven. Yep, a lot of people say seven as well. Uh, okay. Practicality. Not as good. What do we have? The pauldrons are too large, as is so often the case. Um, it's a bit hard to make out details because this picture is so small and thereby blurry when you zoom in. I'm not sure it's got enough articulation here. What even is this thing? I can't quite see. Is this, is this male? It's probably male. Um... Oh, yeah, okay. Here it looks like Skyrim armor, which is not a good thing. It looks too clunky. Again, ginormous frickin' pauldrons. And yes, that is male, apparently. Overall, decent, not too bad, but the pauldrons drag it down. So it's like a six, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing I see I'm seeing some six, seven, five. Yeah. Damn it, out of water. It's a little bit more. Okay. Next. Uh Thanks, Brooks. Karzook's flaming glaive. Okay. Let's see Karzook Glaive. Uh, K. 
can we yeah without the fire you said okay yeah yeah um mm -hmm. do we have a picture where you see it better kind of huh. let's see <coughs> uh, yeah, the blade is always kind of hidden. That sort of works. But I think I'd rather go with this, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, can, we can go with that. Okay. Coolness. Pretty high. I mean, a flaming polearm. Can't argue with that. There, there's something about it. There, there's something about the simplicity that, that has a, some extra touches. You know what I mean? Because it's just a simple... Um, it's a simple straight handle, all black, with some decorations, and I'm, I don't know if these are rivet heads or, you know, studs of some sort. Yeah, looks like studs. And then you've got the curved blade here. Yeah, I like it. There's something about that. It's it's not one of the absolute most badass weapons ever, but I I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I see a lot of eights there as well. Um, yeah. So that without without the fire, still quite good. Now practicality. Honestly, this is straight up a ten. No doubt. This is 100%. Boom. 10 out of 10. Because this is a legit polearm. You know? There's absolutely no, nothing wrong with it. You know, ignoring the flame. Like, look at how well shaped this is. Like, this is actually a slender pole arm it's got the right proportions and thickness and width and everything you know you can hold on to it no problem you know it's got those rivets to strike with if you connect lower than the blade then it's got the blade itself yeah perfect that's that's really all i can say perfect it's a real weapon holy shit thanks chaos omega um wait where are we Okay, Stargate. I don't think I can do both the armor and the thing, so... Yeah, not really. That, that's a bit too much. Because we, we ain't got time. That's a problem. Um, here, chat, real quick. What, what, what do you want me to rate? The armor or... The staff, you know, staff, energy, rifle, kind of deal. We got to pick one. We can't spend too much time on it because then I'll be even more behind the mounting list of Super Chats. So armor or staff? Armor, armor, armor. Okay, armor. Clearly armor. All right. Uh, I do like this picture here quite a bit. Oh yeah, <laughs> almost everybody says armor. Okay, fair enough. And then, wait, I should probably keep this open as well because they do look quite a bit different in different scenes and whether it's movie or series, you know, all of that. Um, I should, oh wait, that maybe? 
Now let's let's go with this. These two. No wait, not you. This and that. This is of course the highest quality. Okay, so badass. Um, that depends a lot. Here, here's the thing. This one, badass factor. That that's a ten to me. Th this is freaking awesome. This not so much. This looks dorky because the heads are way too large. Like this is, <laughs> you know, it just looks like comically oversized heads those helmet things so not a fan of that so this this would be like uh i don't know like a five ish this is a 10 or a nine something like that um i'm just gonna rate this a 10 on coolness i'm, I'm just gonna go with the better version not the dorky giant cobra head looking thing this is cool um practicality yeah well in that case in that case this is actually better because they seem to have mail some kind of sci-fi mail probably which is good <sighs> the helmets would not be practical at all no matter how you slice it neither would this be you know it's just if you think about how far away the eyes would be, and in fact, these things, the eyes don't even line up at all with the person underneath. So I don't know how they see anything in these. So that's pretty bad. That's like a... If you can't see shit, that's a two, basically. <laughs> uh, unless I'm overlooking something. If there, if there are any Stargate fans that... Uh, that can give me something that I'm not aware of? Like, is it see-through from the inside? Or do they have cameras that, that like, do they have like a heads-up display inside? What? Because I, it's been so long since I watched the Stargate movie and I've never really watched the TV series. A couple of episodes that are caught here and there, but not much. So they are able to see in the show, yeah. But would they in real life? Not really. Because if, we, if we're talking practicality, we're talking, can you make this in real life and make it work? And that's a solid no. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to stick to that. And I'm also going to have to adjust the video again. Damn you, natural light. You can't just be changing all the time, all willy-nilly. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. Um, come on, connect you dumb thing. And okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, so next one. Wait, how many more super chats? Oh, I don't even want to know. Okay, uh, thanks Rogan too. What's your morning routine for looking so good? You hidden on me or something? <laughs> also, how about the, uh, okay, let me, let me answer that first. I actually don't really have one. I just, uh, yeah, nothing elaborate really. Like standard personal hygiene. And otherwise I just, I moisturize my beard regularly. And yeah, that's about it. Um, how about the Ben 10 Forever Knight's Armor sets? Okay. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, which, yeah, I think I should probably go with this. Probably. Oh, yeah. That'll do. <coughs> okay. It's a little bit large. There. Okay. Let me reset here. Boom and boom. Coolness. Pretty high. Um... Uh, 
The only thing I don't like about it aesthetically is how, you know, this this downward arrow eye slit or whatever that is, is really high, which looks very strange. And I also don't like this, this comb thing here. Um, so that's not too impressive, but otherwise it's, it's pretty cool. It's like, um, I think it's like a seven. I think we can justify a seven here. Uh, chat, eight, nine, ten, eight. Okay. Apparently, I was being too harsh on it. There's a seven. I mean, seven and a half. <laughs> okay, practicality. Now we have problems. Um, now we have problems. For one, it's this th this cartoony style of armor, which where the armor is just like it's basically like fabric. It just conforms to the body shape. You know, it just kind of warps, and and there there's really no sense of how it fits. So this is it's pretty strongly removed from reality. It also has giant pauldrons. I said it's got this kind of an eye slid on your forehead so you you couldn't even see shit unless you've got again a display inside which i don't know um i don't think you could move very well in this so this is this is like a two maybe three i mean i shouldn't be too harsh because there are way worse things there are things that you couldn't even take three steps in so yeah i didn't I don't know. <laughs> Three or four mm, things. It seems like people in the chat are a little bit more positive about it. Yes, it also has a cape. So, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll grudgingly give it a four, but that's about it. Okay, next. Thanks, Lord Saxsmith NPC. Armor of the General class in... Okay, GBA Fire Emblem. General Armor. All right, let's do this. <coughs> mm -hmm. It's probably this. Uh, is, is that the right Fire Emblem? I don't know. Uh, no, that's a later one. Which one is this? Uh, problem is there are so many Fire Emblem games. Uh, hmm. Wait, mm, probably doesn't really make a difference. Okay, uh, this, what's, what's the closest one? That doesn't really quite look like it. Uh, it's just too small to work with, so we need something... We need concept art, basically. Uh, I'm just, you know what, I'm just gonna go with this. This is what we got. Okay. Um, Coolness. This is one of those designs that derive any kind of coolness entirely from how gargantuan it is. Like, it's huge. That's its main defining characteristic. It's like, it's okay for that, but not really impressed. This is, I don't know, it's like a four. I think this is a less than average coolness. Okay, people are very divided on this. I see three, seven, eight point five, eight, five, seven, two, six, seven. All over the place. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to stick with my four. It's, it's just not. Yeah, it needs more color. I agree. Practic 
totality, this is that that's a two. That that's no more than a two. It's way, way, way too huge and bulky and weirdly fitted, you know, strange proportions. Like you, you couldn't do anything in this. This is and I'm only giving it a two because at least it doesn't have spikes that bind up and stuff. But that, that's the most positive thing I can say about this. Like in real life, this would be absolute garbage. Straight up. Okay, next. Thanks again, Gem Cal X. Ashes Switch Axe from earlier it does have a short pick like blade fold out in scythe mode. The prop was missing that piece. Okay, fair enough. Thanks again, James. And Void Null. Check comment. It's a fanny pack. Uh, what? What is? Oh, okay. Okay, so the on the the orc armor, what I what looked like a, a chastity device to me is actually a, a storage unit. That's why it has a it has a key, so you can put you can put stuff in your crotch. I no, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I can appreciate that it keeps whatever you put in there safe, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, thanks, Godzilla Wolf. Cayman Rider Sabres Draconic Knight Armor. Wow, that's that's a mouthful. I'm just gonna paste it as it is and hopefully find stuff. Alright, yeah. Uh, there's all the toys. Do we have uh do we have like art and stuff? Is it all toy? I mean, it's all about the toys, so I guess I can, I could go by that. Uh, anything better? Um, no, I think I, I prefer this one here to look at. Okay, boom. All right. Coolness. I'm split on this. It has the potential to be really cool. I do like the the red accents here and the armor, you know, design like with a, you know, kind of ab plate here that looks pretty cool and uh you know the embrace design looks neat for the most part and then you've got this god's awful helmet the, the helmet looks so dorky it's like i'm wearing a, a dead you know, starfish on my face that's what it looks like ah uh, that looks terrible um minus the like Everything else without the helmet, I would give it a seven or eight, I think. With the helmet, it's uh, five, six, I don't know. <laughs> uh, six. I, no, no, you know what? That's a five. I think I'm already being nice, giving it a five. The helmet is just too dorky. It's just overall, it has a pretty dorky vibe. So, yeah, and practicality is three at most. I, I can't give it any more. This is, this is pretty bad. <laughs> you can't see shit. You can't move properly. Um, I mean, it could be worse, I will say that. But I do think this is one of those designs that require uh, foam, you know. The foam props flex differently or at all. So, yeah, that, that's like a three, maybe a four, if I'm being nice, but yeah, it's not in there. Uh, thanks, Murloc. Let me, let me just quickly reset this. 
Soul Bad Guys, junk, Junkyard Dog. Okay, Let's see here. Yeah, this thing. Uh, oh, that's a tricky one. That's that's gonna be tough. That's that is going to be a tough one. Do we have a better picture where we can see it better? Huh. What the fuck? The hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, thanks, bromies. That was clearly necessary. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, no, wait, that's different. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna go with this. That's that's big enough. Oh, is it a gun too? Should should I just ask what it isn't? That might be easier. Okay. Um, coolness it, it still has that uh, industrial toy look that the other weapon does but I think this is better ish it's still ugly but I have to give it creativity points so uh, anybody remember what I what I rated the other one? Because I should be fair and think about that. But it's eh, I don't know. You skipped mine. Uh, what, what was what was yours again? Snatter. Uh, Yeah, the problem is I, I couldn't find a picture. So I can't. I, I literally can't because I can't find a picture. Um, yeah, what do you think? Four, four, eight, seven, three? Okay, people are completely divided on this. Uh, I can't even make up my mind at all on this. It's. Uh, I don't know, man. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, um, five? I don't know. Practicality? Yeah, this... Uh, no. No. <laughs> Industrial nerf weapons in real life would not work. Uh, Dead by Daylight, the Saw of the Nurse. Okay. Oh, it's just a bone saw, isn't it? Hmm. That is just a bone saw. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Uh, that's, um... There. Okay. Well. <sighs> coolness is going to be pretty low. It's, it's, I mean, it's just a bone saw. It's a two. <laughs> it's not very interesting. Like, yeah, it's bloody and it looks old, but it's just, it's a bone saw. What, what's the point? Like, <laughs> it's pretty lame. And practicality is also terrible. Like, I think I'm, I'm giving it a favor at a two. This could be a one, but at least it's not self... Okay, that's actually a good point. You can't kill yourself with it, so I'm, I'm actually going to have to give it a little bit more than that. <laughs> it could be far, far worse. So, yeah. Oh, that was quick. Uh, let's see. For Honor... Uh, wait. Okay. Oof. Okay. Hmm. All right. What do we do with this? Eight X and X. So. 
<sighs> it is pretty cool. I'll give it that. Um, hmm. I I like. I will say that the spikes look cool. We'll get to the practicality, but they look cool. Um, it's a nice shape. You know, it's got some decorations on it. You know, there's it's got it's got a lot going for it without being overloaded. So I think aesthetically it works very well. I would say that's an eight or nine. I'm going to start with an 8 and we'll see what, what you folks think. Uh, okay, you're, you're not impressed. Fair enough. I mean, it is, it is pretty simple compared to a lot of fantasy weapons. So yeah, let me, let me rate this a little bit lower. I think we can get away with a 7, yeah? Yeah. I'm seeing a lot more lower ratings. Yeah. Six or seven. Yeah, something like that. Now, practicality, that's gonna be interesting. So, the spikes I do not like. They would most likely get stuck. They would prevent the, the weapon from penetrating all the way. It wouldn't cut great. Um, it's too large, it's two identical blades instead of two with different purpose, it looks like it's a round handle, it's too short, it's got stuff in the way that prevents your hands from sliding up and down, so it's not too good, but we're comparing it to stuff that can't even be gripped, that has spikes pointing at your hand, etc, etc, so I guess it's it's not compared to that, it's not too bad. Compared to real life weapons of history, this would rate lower, but as a fantasy design, it's actually okay. <laughs> you know? Uh, thanks, Loki Scarlet. Crescent Rose. Uh, tactical high tech shenanigans. Judge it as if someone actually tried using it as a scythe. Okay, we'll do that. Ooh, ah, ah. Okay, be right back. Sorry, I just had to get something to help me get through this. Just a moment. Okay. All right. Whew. Okay, maybe now I can I can deal with it. Okay, um, yikes, big yikes. Um, do not like, do not want, get it out of my face. That's my response to it. Uh, coolness. I'll give it. I'll give it like two points for creativity. I hate it, but it, it can it can get two points just for sheer creativity. All right. <laughs> uh, practicality. That's that's straight up a zero. Like. Okay, point five. Wait. Okay, you can at least grip it. That's at least a one. 
there. I mean, no, you can't. You can't even really grip. No, fuck it. That that's a that's a zero point five. Hell no, you can't even grip that thing. There's no way to wrap your hands around it in any meaningful way. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> that's my opinion. Um, yes. Hope you enjoyed the dramatization. I just I just had to. This is this deserves it. Okay. Uh, duels. Duels are legal where you are. How many duels this year? Uh, <laughs> thanks, Mr. Roboto. They aren't technically legal. They just haven't been. Um, they haven't been banned. But if you did it, you probably would still get in trouble. Uh, let's see. Thanks, Julius. I'm still going to have to speed up quite a bit more here. I'm still way behind. Huh. Okay. Interesting. All right. That's quite nice. Let me... Uh... Eh. Come on. There. So, coolness. Um, <laughs> I like this. This is this is a tasteful touch, you know. Like this is the good kind of decoration. Um, that's good. I like that blade shape. I quite like. That's a nice symbol there. This thing, I'm not crazy about, but I mean, aesthetically, aesthetically, it's nice enough. Um, yeah, it's pretty good aesthetically. Um, it's, I would say it's kind of similar to Chad's design from earlier. What, what did I rate that again? Did I give it a, f I legit can't remember. Uh, did I give it a five or six or a something? I don't know. I think I would give this a Six, six or seven? What do you folks think? Seven, seven point. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can, I can live with a seven, no problem. Seven is good. Practicality, pretty good. Um, I said it's got this extra part here that you don't want and don't need. Adds weight, but overall it doesn't look too clunky. It's definitely a practical blade shape, although I'm slightly concerned about this here that could be a potential a slight weak spot not really that big of a deal um, this looks a bit too sex toy like for my taste um, you know ribbed for her pleasure and all that uh, but you could hold on, hold on to it it might be this might be a blister generator but it's not too bad and you know that as a pommel is, is okay so I think it's quite good that's like a an eight, maybe seven or eight. We can easily give it a seven, um, maybe an eight. A uh, number of people are saying eight. Yeah, I, I think I can give it. I think I can give it an eight. That's that's fair. Uh, chainsaw sword versus long sword in a duel who wins my money is on the long sword because you can pop the chain off you know I, I talked about all of that in the the video about uh, horror movie weapons so you can check that out I covered pretty much all of it um, I, I know you said chainsaw sword rather than just chainsaw but a chainsaw sword would still be way too heavy and you could probably still pop off the chain um, yeah uh, let's see. Thanks, Lich Lord. Uh, Star Butterfly Battle Armor. Okay. What even is? <coughs> what the? F what? What on earth is this? Uh, do I have to? Can I skip this? Please? I, I really don't want to. Uh, okay, I'll just make it quick. Because... Uh, yeah. 
<sighs> Why you gotta do this to me? Okay, fine. Uh, coolness. I mean, what's cool about this? I don't know what it's from, but it looks like some some girls' show uh, for a girls' kids cartoon. Maybe, maybe it's cool, but no, not really. Uh, and practically, uh, that's also pretty low. It's like a two, whatever. I, I don't really care. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Um, let's not do that. Maybe. Okay, Destiny Two World Line Zero. Thanks, Robert. <coughs> hmm wait what the hell okay uh, let's reset this origin server forbids it. <laughs> what <laughs> wow um yeah i just i just gotta show you that's all it says. Origin server forbids it. Okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Calm your tits. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I don't like the color scheme. I don't like how how toy-like this looks. This just looks like a lump of plastic. It just looks like a Nerf thing or... I don't know. Ugh, I don't dig the aesthetics of, of these pieces. They, they probably serve some kind of purpose. This is probably... You know, what is this? Fire sword... Elect... Wait, what? Can alter the course of history? Well, that's some bullshit. Okay. Uh... Two points for creativity? I think it's pretty ugly. But it gets points for creativity. I'll, I'll give it that. Okay, apparently you like it a lot more. Looks clumsy and random. Yeah, I agree. I uh, don't like it. I can, I can maybe give it like a... I don't know. It is high-tech stuff, so okay. And depending on how it works, it might get more of a coolness. And practicality is like, that's a one. There's no way you can make this work. And even if you did, this looks like a supremely uncomfortable and slippery handle. Hell no. Do not want. Okay. Um, thanks, Ninja Tanuki. Hey, I haven't seen you around. For a while and the lore of ruby they even say it's impossible to use <laughs> it also doubles as a 50 caliber rifle yikes <laughs> yeah uh modern medieval armor ben 10 forever knights what eh modern medieval is, is there like another armor or are you just messing with me i don't know uh, I mean, we've already done this, so I'm sorry. I have to, I have to keep going because there are way too many. Uh, let's see, Neo Automata to be sword. Thanks, Edward. Uh -huh. Wait, there's this too. Which one? Uh, I'm just gonna go with. The, there, there's so many. <laughs> Wait, was there any more info? Which one? Which one you meant? Yeah, to be. Uh, there could be. There could be anything. She's got a bunch of swords, apparently. Uh, which one? Any and all, both, none. What the hell is that? <laughs> Um, I'm just going to go with this because the other one is just a katana. Like there's there's nothing special about it. There's nothing fantasy about it. Um, what on earth is this? Is this like, did it did it break and they riveted it back on the broken blade? Is, is this that kind of deal? I haven't played the game, so I'm 
forgive me if I sound like a boomer right now, but uh, I have no idea what, what's going on with this. Anyway, so, coolness. <laughs> yeah, it, it just looks like the blade broke and then it was riveted back on, which is kind of lame. I do like the the grip, I have to say. This here looks really good, you know, just aesthetically. That's a nice decoration. That looks pretty cool. Overall, this looks quite good. I like the the black and silver and white. That all works very well aesthetically, so it gets some points for that. I mean, it makes it different. It looks. It doesn't look like a generic katana, so I, I got to give it that. I think I'm actually gonna stick with the four, maybe, or maybe I'll maybe I'll do a, a five. I don't know. I think it can it can get a five. It's fair enough, I think. Um, then practicality, yeah, that that's that's. Uh, I mean, okay, the handle is perfectly practical. You can use that. This looks like such a weak connection. It's just two rivets, that's all. That's gonna snap any moment. That's like, uh, hmm. I kinda wanna give it more though, because yeah, let, let's do a six, because the thing is, the blade in and of itself is fine. The grip in and of itself is fine. It's just the connection that makes me anxious, <laughs> so to speak, but that's yeah, okay. Okay, uh, what else? I think at some point I'm going to have to set a cutoff here because otherwise I'll be here for 10 hours because people just keep machine gunning them. Uh, thanks, Momo. I'd love to see a quick review on Mimicry from Lobotomy Corporation. Okay. Wait. All these things I've never heard of. <laughs> Why are there so many things that that I've wait, isn't this just just Soul Edge? That just looks like Soul Edge to me. Okay. Um yeah, pretty much Soul Edge. So uh, wait. Can we make this just a little bit larger, maybe? Because this is this is tiny. It looks at you funny. Okay, so coolness. This is going to be very biased, but I've never liked this this organic sword concept. So this is like it's like a one. Yeah, I I do not like it. I never have, and practicality is also a one because. It's a large lump of flesh with some metal, so... <laughs> Sorry. Nope. Looks like a nasty hot pepper to me. Yeah, kind of. Uh, okay, thanks, Bucky. Oh, I'm getting carpal tunnel here. Oh, it's kind of an un unfortunate angle for the mouse here right now. Uh... Why is he holding a head? Clearly I haven't played enough Fire Emblem games. Huh. All right, let's go with this. Um, no, that's too much. Hey. Okay, doesn't, doesn't quite want to, there we go. Um, <laughs> right, let me reset. The score. Um, <laughs> there are definitely some things I like about it. I like the black armor with the silver trims. That always looks quite nice. You know, tasteful, but also pretty cool. Um, I generally like this sort of helmet, you know, this kind of Corinthian style helmet where you can't see the face. That's always a, a plus on badassery. 
Uh, the sabatons look really cool. Uh, the sword actually looks quite cool too. I think this is, yeah, this is pretty high. I hate the huge pauldrons, not just for practicality, but also for aesthetic reasons. So that drags it down a little bit, but it's still like a seven or eight. I think eight is, wait, eight I said. I think that's reasonable. And then, um, then we got practicality. That, that's where this sucks. Again, absolutely humongously gargantuan pauldrons. You could forge an entire armor out of just one of these, basically. Like at least a breastplate and backplate, for that matter. The rest is decent, um, with the exception of this piece here. I think that would that would pre prevent you from flexing your lower body. So that would get in the way for movement. Otherwise decent, but the pauldrons really ruin this. This is like... I think that's what turns it into a four. Those are just dumb. Okay, mm, thanks Peter. Xenoblade. Okay. Yeah, I think it's these here. Um, I think they're similar enough in flavor that I can just kind of lump them together and rate them like that. Uh, let me reset the score. I kind of have two voices in my head fighting against one another. Like, one part of me doesn't like this design at all. The other is like, that's pretty cool. That's, uh, uh, that's, that's tricky. Um, hmm. Uh, just aesthetics. I'm trying to separate that from practicality. Just how cool they are. The center one, I do, I do like that one. The one in the center looks best. I'm just gonna go with that. So that's like a six, maybe even seven. I think it looks pretty cool. I, I will give it that. Looks wise, I think I can justify a seven here. Six or seven. Um, Practicality, that's, yeah, it's basically one or two. <laughs> You've got things pointing at yourself. That's always massive point deduction, especially since not only this, but this also points at your hand. This is particularly bad. It's not quite as bad, but the handle looks very blocky. Uh, so that's like um, 1.5. Pretty terrible. Yeah, 1.5. So next we get Void No with Fate no, Wait, Fate Stay Night Lancelot Armor. Okay. Uh, that doesn't tell me anything, so I'm just going to plug this directly into Google the way you said it. Uh, and you said... Enemy looking dark helmet on blue plumage. So this, okay. All right, we can work with that. We think. All right, so reset the score. And now, hmm, 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 hmm. Pretty high on 
just badassery. Um, purely aesthetically. Again, not, not functionality yet. Aesthetically, I think this is pretty cool. And creative too. I do like that. Aesthetically. Badassery. Pretty neat visor. I mean, not entirely my thing, but it's it's cool. Yeah, it's it's very creative. I like the transition here uh, from you know the blade guard to the pauldron. Gauntlets look pretty cool. Yeah, in terms of dark fantasy aesthetic, pretty good. Pretty good. It's like um. I'd give it a seven. Things seems pretty reasonable, maybe even more. I, no, no, you know what? I think it's it's it looks badass enough that I can justify an eight. Now, practicality. This is where we have problems. For one, the tiniest ice lid, no breathing holes or openings of any kind. So it's gonna be stuffy as hell in there. You can't see. Uh, this is not articulated and this all seems to be connected. This is like a, a longer vest. So basically, your torso would be locked in place. You couldn't bend. You would just be <laughs> walking around like this. Pauldrons are oversized. Again, uh, there's an opening here. Uh, practicality is really bad. Like I'm being nice with a three. I, you could You could argue for less. So, eh. that's fan art. Does it matter? Is it good fan art? I don't really care. Um, there's nothing else, apparently. Like, what is even official? This? No, it's also fan art. There doesn't seem to be anything other than fan art. That's a problem. <laughs> I'm not really seeing anything else. Uh, is this, is this fan art too? I don't know. There? That's, that looks official-ish. Okay, let's go with this. If we go by this, then I would give it even more on coolness. I would give it a 9. Because now it glows as well. And looks even edgier and darker. So that that's a 9. Practicality is... Possibly even worse on this. Yeah, you know what? That's even worse. <laughs> now, to be fair, you can see more. It's a bit more of an opening there, but yikes, that's... You couldn't move in this at all. Like, this posture already isn't possible. Like, this, this bend here, this flex, that's not happening with the way these plates align. So, no, I don't think so. Uh, thanks, Dean. Infinity Blade from Infinity Blade series. Okay. Also, uh, it would be good if you start slowing down a little bit because uh, <laughs> I'm starting to run out of steam here. Uh, I'm still trying to catch up, but... Uh, Mm. I'm assuming it's this thing here, right? This? Wait, is there... Um... Okay, yeah. Yeah, we can work with that. All right. Or is there a better picture? No, this seems to be... That seems to be it. Okay. That's colorful. So, <laughs> infinity, uh, I was going to say, are those the infinity stones? Anyway, don't get sidetracked. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. What do we do with this? First off, reset the score. Coolness. Hmm. It's very simple. It's somewhat edgy, yeah. Mm, it's definitely got a wall hanger vibe to it. 
It's reasonably creative. Mm, I think that's like a five, maybe six. Like it's it's nothing too special, but it's it's all right. I think it's pretty decent. I think we can we can probably give it a six. It's fair enough. Practicality. Um, it's pretty good in some ways because like the blade is good if you, if you don't make it too thick. My same. I have the same similar pro problem as with Shad's design, where there's a lot of mass here, but it doesn't have the extra guard and large pommel, etc. So that probably makes sense. The balance should be decent on this, actually. Um, this looks like it's it's two pieces riveted together, so that's a weak spot there. That can fail, but I suppose. It could be forge welded, which would make it pretty strong. So you can fix that. Uh, the grip looks perfectly good. No problem there. So I really only have pr a problem with the the structural integrity here for that reason. So that costs it a point or two, but I think it's at least an eight. I think we can say that eight is is reasonable. Um, okay, thanks James. Thanks for entertaining and informative YouTube content over the years. You're welcome, and thanks for the support. Uh, all right. Thanks Necron99. <laughs> Definitely getting carpal tunnel here. Uh, what? What is this? This doesn't, this doesn't show me anything. Uh, eh? what, what is, what is this? Kingdom Hearts? Uh, huh? Okay, there we go. That was too specific for Google, apparently. Well, not, not Google, DuckDuckGo. And you stupid Google. Uh, okay, first off, it looks like a, like an oversized toy. Not a fan of that. The colors don't work together. You've got yellow, black, black and red is good, but then adding yellow and blue as well. Like you, you kind of need to decide if you want to do black Blue, yellow, that's fine. If you want to do black and red, that's fine. That's too much. And it looks like a dorky oversized toy. So it's like uh, two at most. Practicality, that's that's a one. Maybe a two. No, not even. It's... No, no. This... Oh, no. <laughs> it's such a clunker. It's got completely pointless, oversized serrations there. No, no, mm -mm. do not want. Okay, uh, thanks Tyler. Pearls, Naginata type weapon from, uh oh, what, what's SU? What's SU now? Uh, spell it out people. I, I don't know half the things that you throw at me, so <laughs> unfortunately, that doesn't help. Uh, what even is this? Uh, what? Oh, Steven Universe. Okay, that makes sense. All right, fair enough. I have heard of Steven Universe. I haven't watched it, but I have heard of it at least. Um, and a lot of people like it, so fair enough. Uh, right, reset. You make me really feel old sometimes with some of the things you throw at me. It's like, this, this and that, and that, that, that game and that series and that whatever. And I'm like, huh? Is that what the kids watch these days? I don't know what that is. Um, coolness. Uh, I find that really hard to say in this minimalist art style, so because it's drawn in a minimalist art style, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but 
at the same time, I like the idea. Like if you drew this with more detail, I think it could actually be pretty cool. So I think we can give it like a five, you know, something like that, or I don't know. Yeah. Practicality, it looks entirely magical. So blah, what do we do with that? If, if we made this, okay, okay. If we made this out of steel, all right, just straight up good old plain steel, properly heat treated and everything, it would be good, I think. Like if this was made of steel, it would be like a seven. If it's magical, then yeah, uh, can't rate, straight up. Okay, thanks, Lich Lord, when something that might be practical for a change. Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, Soul Drinker. All right. Okay. Uh, by the way, please don't make suggestions in the ch in the regular chat. By the way, I'm really struggling to keep up with all the super chats. So there's absolutely no way I can I can get to the chat. I have too many suggestions and super chats already, which obviously I have to prioritize where is it soul drinker is it this hmm. <sighs> not a single picture i've played dark messiah of my magic but i don't know 20 years ago so uh crap wait is it is it two words no hmm. i'm afraid i can't find it unless it's this is it this maybe Uh, damn it. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do this. I don't know if, if that's the one that you had in mind, but probably. Okay, edgy as hell. All right, so coolness. Uh, it's pretty edgy. Um... I do like the, you know, the black transitioning into kind of silver slash steel color. And then with, with the red pattern there, it's, it's nice. The, the outline, I'm not a fan of. Overall shape is eh, not amazing. So kind of like, I think I can give it a six. Practicality, not amazing. I mean, it's not terrible, but that doesn't look like the most comfortable handle. The way it just... It kind of tapers in the wrong direction, sort of. And because this way, it, it'll make your hand want to slide down. I mean, you can get away with a lot of um, handle shapes if you if you get the the ratio of width to thickness right, and you know the cross section I can't see. So, with the right cross section, it could be okay. Um, that's kind of useless here. This is a bit of a waste wasted opportunity because. If this wasn't completely closed off, you could trap an enemy blade in this, but you can't because it's too tight. And then this is going to bring the balance quite a bit further up. It's not digging it. If you made this, then I think it would be like a four. Like not horrendous, but not great. Uh, Astora Greatsword, thanks Haze Monkey. I think I might have covered that in another stream, but uh, let's just do it. 
There we go. Uh, is that is it that or is it does it look more like this? Can't quite tell. Uh, looks more like this one here. Okay. A new tab. Close this. Reset the score. Blip and bloop. Hmm. That's kind of that's a pretty standard uh, two-handed sword or great sword, whatever you want to call it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not super badass by any means. Like it looks good, but it's not super cool. It's just kind of like yeah, it's neat. Looks good, but it's you know. I mean, maybe I should give it a little bit more. This looks nice. Yeah, it's like a... No, nah, I, I think I'll keep it at a five. It's it's a relatively standard looking one. Now, practicality here. Boom. Ten out of ten. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. Machete-proof Kevlar Batman. Uh... Batman has so many different suits, I, I can't rate them all, so, yeah, sorry. I'm going to have to get to the next one. Uh, Detective D, Dragon Taming Mace. What? Spinning the wheel above the guard generates vibrations to shatter bladed weapons. That sounds insane. All right. Uh, I mean, it is fantasy. It, it, mm. <coughs> uh, wait, what do you spin? Which which part do you spin? Um, there. Wait, does it look exactly the same? I can't see the... Okay, yeah, it is a spike. Okay, let's go with this then. Okay. It's not... Mm, it's not really the highest quality picture. Uh, there's something better. I may just have to swap back and forth. Yeah. That works. Fair enough, that works. Okay. Mm. It looks pretty cool, yeah. It doesn't look like a weapon, though. It looks like it looks like a piece of architecture or, or furniture or something like that. So that limits coolness a little bit, but I'll definitely give it props for creativity. It's like a um, four, five, something like that. Uh, six. I could give it anything between four and six, basically. So, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Practicality. It's basically like a sword breaker. It looks kind of heavy. But it does look usable. That's not something I can say about a lot of fantasy designs. If you made this in real life, it would function. Probably not amazingly. Maybe I should give it like more like a five. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. All right. Thanks, v Viribus. Viribus? Probably. Um, mm hmm Uh, I don't know. I searched it, but it doesn't really tell me a whole lot, unfortunately. Uh. Hmm. 
Also, what are you asking about? Weapon? Armor? Both? Not both. We, let, let's do one at a time. Please decide if you want me to comment on either the weapon or the armor. I just There's just too much going on. I can't do everything. Uh, that seems... Yep, that seems decent enough. Okay. I'm just going to go with the armor because the sword is actually pretty normal looking. Uh, okay. I don't like the look of it, not really. It's like... It's like a Roman thought he was going to go barbarian edgelord. And, you know, then... I don't know, kind of Roman Empire goes Mad Max and then they decide to become edgy barbarians. Not digging that look. It's... The horns are a big turn off, so to speak. Not that any any about this is a turn on, but you know what I mean. Uh, no, not really, not my thing. It's like a two. Practicality is also not great because for one, horns which suck. Uh, the stomach is exposed, but at least there's male underneath. So I'll, I'll give I'll give you that. You know, male is yeah okay. That's good. I have to say, I don't like this. I don't like this shape because it's okay if you just want to protect the upper body uh, and then have male for the rest. But if you just want to protect the the breath, uh, the chest, then just have a chest piece and, you know, make it end here. Because this, now that it goes down here, that, that's going to limit your mobility to an extent without really benefiting you too much. Like, yeah, it basically follows the shape of your rib cage, which in and of itself is ironic because your rib cage is already your body's natural armor. So you're going to put armor on top of your armor. You know, like, I don't know about that. Rest is okay. So it's it's not a disaster, but it's not fantastic. It's like, yeah. Got to give it credit for the mail. Um, thanks, Ninja Tanuki. How about something more down to earth? Alva's armor set versus Elite Knight set from Dark Souls 3. Let's see. Can't really do versus because, you know, one, one per person, please. I do have to limit things a little bit. What, Minecraft skin? What? Why? Why does everything have to be Minecraft? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, that I can, I can definitely work with that. <coughs> Starting to lose my voice here. Uh, okay, so score. What you gonna do? It's very ragtag, you know, it's like very puzzled together. What really confuses me is this, um, I don't even know what to call this, uh, inside out brigandine combined with plate. That's, and then on the thigh too, that's strangely random. Um, otherwise, yeah, that, that works. I mean, it works aesthetically. I think it's pretty good. Aesthetically, like, solid. It's like a six. Not, not bad. In fact, I think I'm going to give it a seven. <coughs> Practicality. Um, quite good overall. I wonder what the visibility is like. Uh, could probably need some more slits, but the nice thing about those at least is that you you see through all the way down. So 
and you can breathe properly that's good uh, the blade catcher here yeah that's, that's always good uh, it's not oversized that all works together those are you know demi gauntlets perfectly realistic in fact this is very clearly inspired by real life historical armor so the mix is a bit weird but there's really nothing wrong with it it's like it's like i don't know 8.5 it's pretty good uh, let's see thanks andre did you watch the Ruroni kinchin live action movie i don't even know how you pronounce it uh, it's crazy. They're sword fighting on their knees. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> it's you know, live action adaptation of an anime. It's going to be crazy. Uh, so I haven't watched it. Uh, thanks, Christopher. Icing Death from Legend of Drizzt. Okay. Let's see here. <coughs> That is not what I wanted. Uh -huh. Where where can you see them better? I think this is decent enough. This. Yeah, I mean that, that's basically what it looks like, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Zoom in a little bit. Do the score here. Kaboom. Okay. Fairly unremarkable, I would say. It's like not, not super crazy. I think they actually look better here. Um, they look good in a kind of simplistic kind of way, you know. Pretty good. I could be persuaded to rate higher, but I think five works. Uh, and practicality, that's... That's going to be... It's going to be like a nine. Yeah. It would, would be nice if it had a guard, but... It's good. Uh, Mercury Rangers Drive Detector. Thanks, Necron. <coughs> what? <laughs> what? No. No. Do I have to? Do I have to whip out my eye drops again? It transforms from a metal detector to a gun. Oh my goodness. It's a it's a gun. It gets like two points for being a gun, but uh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, Gothic set from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thanks, Ulskarf. <coughs> oh my god, I'm really. <laughs> I really gotta wrap this up soon. That that's been a lot of talking, a lot of babbling, nonstop. <coughs> Is there a better picture? Would be nice. Because this is terribly small. Uh, <coughs> mm. Why? Oh, come on. Access denied. Fucking. 
access to your mom's denied. Uh, what the hell? Can I not get a single picture? No. Not possible. That's that's too small. Okay, there, finally. Um what the, what I don't know if it's just because the picture is blurry because it's low res, but it looks like a mess. It looks like you know Edge Lord Master Deluxe LARP armor. It's like uh two for I don't know. Attempt. Wait, whoa, whoa. What am I doing here? No, no. Don't do it. <laughs> and practical. Yeah, I think I can just leave it at a two, pretty much. Ugh. That's hideous and impractical. Like you've got spiky nonsense, unprotected neck, bunch of rags hanging off your hips. How is this in a Viking setting? Oh, this just makes me want to puke. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks Ninja, Ninja Tanuki. That's one for me. I have to proudly announce my brother is currently playing the role of Beefcake the Mighty for Gwar's tour. <laughs> it's hilariously exaggerated Roman armor. He'd love to see your take. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, definitely props for going all out. Like, if, if you're going to go crazy, you might as well go full crazy. So I can appreciate that. That's, that's the funny kind of over-the-top ridiculous. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> oh, good on your brother. All right, uh, armor of edge plus three. Yes, indeed. Uh, clouds, advent children, sword. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Necron. And I think I'll let's end it there. So no more suggestions, please. I'm just going to wrap this up, and then then I gotta end it. It's been it's been going for a while. We've been streaming for I don't know how long, two and a half hours, something like that. I think longer. I don't even know. Uh, some time period. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, right, this thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it in action, so I have an idea of how it's supposed to work of course it wouldn't but you know what I mean it's supposed to work uh, yeah, let's just go with that whatever just want to wrap this up quickly because I'm also going to have to go in half an hour so in fact more like 15 minutes this has taken a lot longer than I thought it would okay so coolness I don't like it personally, but I, I will give it some creativity points for the multi-piece thing. That's, yeah, okay. It's, it's kind of cool. In terms of coolness, like it's, I could, I kind of want to go with just a three, but I have to be a little more fair. It's, it's pretty creative, and I think a lot of people would find it cool, so it's like a six. Does that, does that sound fair to you? Seems seems okay. It's not a beanie, by the way. It's the um, it's the padding for the helmet that I was wearing for the oh, not with the glasses for the first half of the video until it just got too damn uncomfortable because for some reason it just there's like a pressure point. It keeps pressing specifically on one part of my head, which gets really uncomfortable after a while. But anyway, um, 
Yeah, practicality is essentially zero-ish because it's way too clunky and everything fitting together is a terrible idea. So, no. Even if you made it out of super light materials, it's just this, this multi-piece Lego stuff, it's just, it, it wouldn't work. 100% would not work in any way, shape, or form. Thanks, Nayat. The throwing of banana pommels, what say you? Uh, yes, soon, but not now, because I have to go in now 10 minutes. So, yeah. we we got to figure it out, though. I, I do want to try the, the newer worms. Anyway, that's all I've got for right now. Got to wrap it up. So, thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Thanks for all the super chats and suggestions and everything hope you had fun uh, i was just trying a different format let me know what you think about it do you like this you know would you like me to do that more often as a live stream this kind of deal opinions thoughts feelings etc anyway have a good one i'll see you around